talk about the first ray and determining if it's structural or functional. And so if it's a true structural, so in the case of a primus elevatus of the metatarsal, the first ray, you will have more motion in the dorsal direction, but then you would have normal motion still in the plantar direction, but it's gonna be having more motion dorsally. Conversely, if the plantar flexed first ray congenitally, you're gonna have more motion plantarly of that first ray, but then normal motion dorsally. Now, if it's acquired, you will have more motion plantarly, but you will lack motion dorsally. And same, likewise, if it is a uh, functional acquired deformity, you will have more motion dorsally, but less motion plantarly. So that's how you really discern of that first ray if it is acquired or congenital.